Joshua, and today we are reading Amelia Bedelia Hits the Trail. Amelia Bedelia was going hiking. Her entire class was going, too. Let's hit the trail, said Miss Edwards, Amelia Bedelia's teacher. Everyone stepped over a big tree root. Amelia Bedelia was chatting and, and looking up at the birds and splat! Amelia Bedelia fell flat on her face. Are you okay? asked Miss Edwards. I'm okay, said Amelia Bedelia. But the next time I hit the trail, I use a stick and snare my face. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia and her friends spotted lots of living things along the trail. They saw a deer and a rabbit. They saw squirrels and chipmunks. They saw insects crawling along the ground and flying in, and flying in the air. Birds chirped in the trees. When a snake crossed the trail, Chip let out a yell. Relax, said Penny. It's more scared of you than you're scared of it. The class walked slowly. Let's move a little faster, faster, said Miss Edwards. Pick up your snail's pace. Amelia Bedelia looked for a snail with a pace to pick up. Maybe she could find one for the classroom nature table. I'm hungry, said Clay. Can we eat lunch? Miss Edwards rubbed her mouth. There's a stream ahead, she said. We can stop there for a bite. I have lots of bites, said Amelia Bedelia. I can see water, said Penny. The class raced to the stream. We'll eat lunch on the bank. Dig in, said Miss Edwards. Amelia Bedelia didn't see a bank, or even a cash machine. Was there treasure buried here? Why else would Miss Edwards tell them to dig in? <laughs> Amelia Bedelia just doesn't get this. It was time to go back to school. Wade was the last to finish his lunch. Let's go, Wade, said Miss Edwards. Yay, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia took off her shoes and socks and wadded right into the stream. Soon everyone was splashing with Amelia Bedelia. Even Miss Edwards joined the fun. As they walked back, everyone found things for the nature table. Daisy picked a daisy. Holly plucked a spring of holly. Rose found a wild rose. Amelia Bedelia picked up fallen leaves. What did you find, Amelia Bedelia? asked Miss Edwards. These are my leaves, said Amelia Bedelia. Miss Edwards smiled. When you have more than one leaf, you say leaves, she said. That made sense to Amelia Bedelia. In the fall, every leaf had to leave its tree. And Amelia Bedelia knew she would not think any more of a leaf falling off a tree. She would think it was leaving its tree. <laughs> nice leaves, said Skip. You have maple, oak, and chestnut, he said. Skip knew a lot about trees. What is this red one, asked Amelia Bedelia. Uh-oh, said, Sk said Skip. That's poison ivy. Yeah! Amelia Bedelia threw the leaves up in the air. Her leaves were leaving again. Skip laughed so hard, he fell on the ground. I was joking, he said. Amelia Bedelia is not laughing. That was a mean trick, she said. Maybe you should take a hike, said Skip. I am, said Amelia Bedelia. And now I don't have anything for the nature table. Amelia Bedelia's lip trembled. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Skip. He helped Amelia Bedelia pick up her leaves. 
Hold still, Skip said. Are you teasing again? asked Amelia Bedelia. No, you have a hitchhiker, said Skip. He pointed to a caterpillar. The caterpillar was crying on Amelia's backpack. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's caterpillar was a star of the nature people. Then it was the star of Amelia Bedelia's classroom. So it hit the trail. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Join me tomorrow for Pinkalicious Pup Task.